G'day, welcome to Epic E-Bikes. Today we're going to start the first of our ride review series. We're going to climb up this big hill today. It's a big fire road. We're going to use the Focus Jam Squared that we've unboxed in a previous video. Obviously we're going to put it on turbo max power. We're going to do a couple of runs so that we can get an average time for our fastest climb. Uh, we'll talk about how the bike feels a little bit and then in future we're obviously going to do some other bikes. We've got the Kinevo we're going to do, we're going to do some E8000 bikes and hopefully get access to some other ones after that. Before we do our runs, we're going to talk a little bit about the bike, the motor and the track. So let me start with the track. The track is 200 metres in length. It's got an average gradient of 17.5% and at the steepest section it's approximately 30 percent. Now it's a fairly open track, it's not too rocky, not too technical and we chose that because we thought that will draw out the strengths of each of the individual e-bike motors better rather than relying on rider skill. I'm going to hand it over to Lachlan now and he's going to talk a little bit more about the bike and the characteristics of the motor. The bike we'll be taking up the track today is the Focus Jam Squared 6.9. We've got the 2021 model. Uh, it's a 150mm travel front and rear. We've got the Schwabe Magic Mary tyres on it. It gives us plenty of grip. And it's running the Bosch CX Gen 4 motor with 85 newton metres of torque. So the bike weighs in at 25.15 kilos. A bit on the heavy side, but we'll see how the motor goes. Chugging this weight up the hill. Realistically, at two or three kilos isn't going to make a lot of difference with the large variance of rider weights out there. We like the Bosch Generation 4 motor. It feels quite powerful. We particularly think it does well in that first few pedals, the low range, where it really takes off quite fast gives you good acceleration. Uh, it has some features worth talking about. The EM2B mode, it's quite good. So what that does is it adjusts the motor power depending on how much effort you put in. So if you're just cruising along on the flat, it'll just cruise along as well and just give you the minimum sort of level that you need, it's pretty good. Uh, and then if you come up to a hill or an obstacle and you have to pedal harder, it's gonna also give you more assistance, which really complements the riding. And it feels quite natural, so we really like that mode. It also has an overrun feature in turbo. So if you're in turbo mode, you're climbing something hard. If you sort of hit the pedals and then stop pedaling, the motor will overrun for a second or two to get you over that log or that rock. Now, if you leave it in turbo and you're doing something a little technical and you accidentally move the pedals forward, it will then shoot you forward a little and it can be a bit uh, unexpected. So you've got to watch out for that and get used to it. Okay, now we've talked about the track, we've talked about the motor characteristics and how we think it feels. Let's dive into some of the statistics. So here we can see the chart for the power output that we've put together. So this is based on human input, the power you put in, how much the motor then assists you. So in turbo mode, you get 340% of your effort to a maximum torque of 85 Newton meters. Now, if we look at some of the other modes, we've got Eco, that offers you 60% of your input as assistance, and that peaks at 40 Newton meters. Then in Tour, you get that extra 10 Newton meters, now you get 50 Newton meters, and you get 140%. And then the e-mountain bike mode that everyone really likes, that's a variable mode, so you can get between 140 and 340% assistance and up to 85 Newton meters of torque. So the harder you work, the more assistance you get in that mode. All right, we've just learnt a little bit more about the track, the bike, the motor characteristics. It's time to get on our bikes and do our runs. Okay, first one, feeling fresh. Ready to go. Start.
stopping at this train. Here we are, we've done our runs now on the Focus Jam 2 6.9 2021 with the Bosch Gen 4 motor. You know what, it's not as easy as you think zooming up these hills, but we're glad we're able to do it so we can give you some comparisons. And up here we're going to show you the times we did, so you can have a look at those. And it'll be good to just compare those times to the other bikes as we start to roll through each and every one of the bikes on this same hill uh, and we'll do our best to keep it keep to the exact same formula that we've run with each and every one of the bikes so you can see how each bike has performed. <laughs> 